And uh, as I stand here with a giant testicle behind me, I... Uh, Everybody, um, so yeah, I'm driving in a car. If you can't tell that, let's see. I don't know if you can tell that. Oh yeah, you can tell that. How about that? I can tell. Um, so yeah, I'm in a car, and I'm not in a normal car. I'm actually in a rental car. We're um, on a business trip down to California. Actually, going exactly where we went this summer with the kids near the redwoods. But we go all the way that whole same route. So the same route that was in that video all the way down. Past where we stayed, past the redwoods, past the big tree the kids crawled through, and then we just keep going for another like three hours after that down the coast. So, um, yeah, so yeah, it's a long business trip. It's still 7 30 in the morning. We've been driving for two hours. Pretty good sunrise. Let's check that out. I don't know. It's gonna come out inside Mount Hood. Anyway, so yeah, I'm not actually driving because that would be weird if I was driving with my feet right now because I've got this hand up straight and it doesn't work very well. So you might remember Steve from uh, previous videos when we were in Dallas and other videos uh, like a boat and stuff like that. I'm using this app called Waze. For those of you that use it, you'll think I'm stupid just for bringing it up, but it's actually pretty cool. I don't know that I'm going to get a good picture of it here, but so there's these little icons, so like that guy right there, he's got a big googly eye, he's got glasses. These are other drivers that are going around, and you can talk to them. Like that guy's Davey, right? So, um, and you can message them, so you can actually communicate to them while you're driving, you were talking to each other. So that's not a distraction or anything. The actual the app is actually cool because you can report, hey, there's an accident up here, and then other people can see it, and you get points and stuff. So there's some cool aspects of it. But so I just sent a guy. The reason I'm filming is I just sent a guy a message, and he's disappeared. But his name on the screen was Greggy Poo, um, and that's Greggy Poo. He kind of looks like this guy with the crown, but he has a sword. I don't know how you get custom icons, but whatever. So I sent Greggy Poo a message to say, how's it going? And I haven't heard back yet. So I'm not sure the, the I'm testing the quality of the communication between users. Um, I'm not sure Greggy Poo's now responding. Um, I guess the question really should have been, why are you, why are you called Greggy Poo? See, it just popped up. So there's a policeman up here, policeman up here right there and then if I say yes there is a policeman there I get points and when you get 10 trillion points you get to go to Vegas apparently <laughs> yeah, yeah. alright let's try to message the guy with the glasses hi Davey um, how's it going Fun with ways, no app cost that I've run into. Oh, a ninja! Look at that. I want a custom icon so bad right now. There's ninjas. Oh, I gotta get one. Anyway, so it's a cool app so far. It's amusing at least. However, terribly distracting if you're driving the vehicle. So stop doing that. He's doing his best. Don't. It's dangerous. So we're back to Grants Pass, those of you that remember the summer's videos. Yes, Grants Pass in winter. It doesn't look much different, really. It was interesting conversation in the first few <laughs> weeks. I thought Jen was going to have a fit. Oh, the fucking Redwoods! <laughs> yeah, it looks exactly the same as last year, part of this past summer. It's pretty close to the same. This place really is absolutely no different other than temperature, but looking at it, you'd have. There's no difference between what it was three months ago. I mean, it's just. It's the same. Exactly the same.
the signs about dead people? Maybe you should do it. What? <laughs> what are you worried about? I'm doing this for four years. <laughs> Your viewers can wait. <laughs> I can guarantee you that none of those dead people were filming. Right. They were doing something probably less distracting. Or <laughs> drinking. <laughs> Look what it is! Oh, yeah. How could I not stop one time just to get a close-up of... <laughs> get a close-up of Paul and... <laughs> Almost get Steve killed. <laughs> it would have impacted Again. your side. It would have impacted your side of the car, not mine. I know. Yeah. Like you said, I would have been totally fine. But yeah, so he's got a less flowers this time of year. But more compact. There he is. Do we need to go to the restroom? Must be a perfect spot for it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sweet. We're gonna go That's back into the gift store and take a look around since Mama wouldn't let me do that last time. Front row parking. For Babe and Paul. Oh, so many few people here this time of year. So awesome. That's so good. And there's uh, Babe's, uh, yeah. So, yeah, let's go look around in the shop. Oh, they got a little, a little gingerbread house. It's a little gingerbread. A little gingerbread. Look at all the lights in that thing. That's ridiculous. The thing that lights up and catches on fire at night. So got me so many lights. <laughs> That's just crazy enough for lights there. Pretty cool. And his ox. We should go see his ox. I got time to see his ox. Now there's no kids around. I can actually take an investigation into the ox. Check some things out. Alright. So here's the ox. There's his whatever that gullet thingy is or whatever that's called. I'm sure somebody out there will tell me what the hell that is. Gullet. And then we all, I think we know what that is. And then the udder. Or not the udder, depending on how you think about it. We should look. Let's do a complete investigation, shall we? Whoa! That's not what I expected for his tail. He's missing his tail. He's like someone who took the gecko. Uh-huh. Oh. That's, uh, interesting. Up close and personal. Mm hmm So, we're gonna keep going. Got a long way to go. Short time to get there. Those of you that following at home on a map, it's quite a ways. So, we got about five or six more hours to go. Actually, probably more like seven. But, uh, we're doing pretty good. Um, and, uh, as I stand here with a giant testicle behind me, I uh, will try to take as much footage as possible, um, and uh, we'll see you more soon. <laughs>